can't drink, you know. It, yeah. it doesn't happen. So I'm cool with, um, you know, it's, it's, it's strange, but, you know, it's deep. They say, well, you know, I've got a choice. Hospitals, death, or you could live a functioning lifestyle. I think I'll take the functioning lifestyle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, it got to that point where literally I drank myself in the hospital so many times. It was, it was like, it was pathetic. Yeah. You know, and, and nobody wants to be that pathetic fucking little, little worm. You know. Yeah, I hear you. So, so basically, it was me and Phil getting our shit straight. Yeah. You know, um, there's still, you know, I mean, you know, marijuana is still marijuana. Yeah, I hear you. You know, I don't, I don't have a problem with it, you know. Yeah. I don't smoke, but, but uh, Phil smokes the shit out of it. But, you know, as, as, long, as long as he, it's by doctor's care only, you know, yeah. that is really the only way that he can explain it. Yeah. That's what this, this is what we do, you know. There's yeah. Another couple of guys in the band drink beers, and that, that's it, you know. Yeah. No hard liquor whatsoever. Yeah. They've seen me go down that fucking road. They don't want to be, they don't want to, they don't want to do it. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we're all going to, you know, we're all, like, we're brothers in this fucking thing. Yeah. And you know, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah. It just takes, it, it just takes us forever to get in the fucking same room, man. Yeah. You know, um, but it's getting easier, you know? Yeah. Are you finding that it's, a, it's an each thing also that's driving that as well? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think, you know, before, um, and, well, we look at it two ways, you know. Two guys in the band are married and, uh, well, um, and have kids. I've got kids and, and you know, Kirk, Kirk has a child. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, um, you want to be with your family, you know. Yeah. He definitely, but, you know, I've, I've had to make sacrifice after sacrifice in this business. Yeah. Um, and it's just uh, having somebody that's just going to be cool about it. Yeah. You know, and so, you know, trying to make my seven-year-olds understand, you know, this is what dad does. Yeah. And you will be, you will come out at different times and see what dad does. And they're, and they're proud of me, you know. That's great. How, how long are you on the road at a time for? Uh... We just, we're, we're, we're going out for like four weeks and then we're taking a couple of weeks off. And then we go out for four weeks and we'll take a couple of weeks off. Yeah, that must be so hard, though. Just I'll be home, you know. Uh, you know, we're a good half a year. I mean, you know, it's not a bad, it's not a bad deal, and we're we're doing just, just really, really, really good. I mean, we we're coming back to some of these smaller places that we that we haven't played before as now because we never really played, you know, except for 2002. Yeah. Um, and, but we didn't even get to uh, shit. Yeah. Maybe a, you know three quarters of where we we could have gone with that. Yeah. Everybody's condition at that point was just gone. I mean, we were, we were all just shot. Yeah. That's good. That's good. No, I'm really happy to see you guys around. I mean, it's good to see the quality now out there again. You know what I'm saying? Um, the whole thing is ass off. He's fucking so focused. I want to, yeah. you know, sometimes I wish he'd get fucked up. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it, yeah, man, he's, he's uh, definitely, he's definitely that, that guy again. Like, he yeah. used to be back in the day, and, and, I, and I love it, appreciate it, you know? Yeah. And, um, and, and this is, you know, the music that we're doing, something that we're not, it's not to be taken for granted. No, I know, because I read about his interview in uh, Revolver, and it, I was totally impressed by, you know, the focus that he had, you know, in, in that whole interview and the whole, I guess, journey or process that journalists went through, and you could just get off the bat how focused he wanted to be, you know, which is, like, pretty impressive from the kind of history that he's had, you know? So yeah, I mean this journal is that best me. Oh my God! Yeah, nine all, day, nine day. You've had all these highs and these lows. Yeah. Oh my God! You've been, it's called life, motherfucker. You know. Well, not just that, but to have the back surgery and let, let alone you know his his home in New Orleans. I mean that's that's two tragedies in such a short period of time. You know. Three things. Okay. I remember Don back there on a fucking shot five. That's right. Back there. Yeah, that's right. I think that's something fucking hard to get over. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah, I know. I mean, this, these are sort of tragedies. Highs and lows. You ain't gonna turn out to be not that you go to see one of those little stale dudes. That, you know, yeah. Whatever. So yeah. That, that that makes hard, buddy. You know. Oh, I know. I know. We just made a hell of a record, so. Yeah, I, I'm like totally impressed with it. I, I'm like, yeah, you know. I'm I'm like, I don't know where to go with it. You know what I mean? 
Right. It's it's something, you know, you can hear bands are trying and then there's bands that are and they're obviously failing miserably. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Bullshit. Yeah, like I'm doing a, an interview with Agnostic Front tonight and it's like, I'm looking so forward to doing an interview from a band that started in 82 and I just did an interview with uh, Harley from the Crow Mags. So like just to see the older generation, like I'm 38 myself, so right. you know I've, I've been around since the early 80s and shit. And it's like I love I love that genre of the music as opposed to I'm not saying what's out today in the younger generation. It's just it just doesn't have the same drive and passion. And, and they just don't know where all the fucking roots come from. That's right. That's right. I mean I remember seeing some of the cues now. The 15 years old when they weren't born and are listening to fucking Volgers play power and get fucking, you know, dime hats all over them and pull yeah. Them yeah. fucking insane. Yeah, I know, I know. And, and just it's the fucking thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. I said, it literally creeps me out. Yeah. Or what, what, what fucking creeped me out was like a few years ago where you see like... You know, and they're, they're trying to get next to me trying to see it. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to help. But, no, they, like I'm saying, you see, you see what I'm saying? They, they missed a fucking generation somewhere. Yeah, that's what they're calling them, missing generations, so. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's sad because they, you know, they really need to be exposed to that kind of stuff. Yeah, totally. You know, and, um, and because that's where our fucking roots came from. Was yeah. That early 80s. Well, back, back in the days, back then, I I'd, I'd had nothing else to go on, really. And now with the internet, obviously it changes stuff, but when you're coming from nothing and you have nothing, music is all you got. There's, you know? there's still that element of, of, uh, of that old, you know, that old fucking underground hardcore movement. You know? Yeah, oh yeah. It's still there, dude. Oh yeah, oh I know. You know, it, it, that, that's something that won't 